You weren't racing, were you, chaps? No, no, no. Of course not. What's the plan today, Professor? We're going down to the secret underground test track. Game on, JB. I hope you like the smell of burning rubber. I hope you like the taste of dust. Now, I want to emphasize one thing clearly. There'll be no racing today, chaps. I've only just recovered from the last time. And from the 1995 season, here we have one of Nigel Mansell's original moustaches. So, gentlemen, today we'll be testing the new super, super soft tyres, a new set of waterproof overalls, champagne resistant. Wow, what the hell is that? Oh, pay no attention to that. It's just something the teams have been asked to test out to make next season more competitive. And, of course, we'll also be testing the new car. Uh, M, there's only one of them. Oh, we only need one car to test the modifications, Lewis. Heads or tails? Heads. Best of three? Let this one go, mate. <laughs> now, we've fitted new hydroplated coach pins with sub-retinal handling compensation. How does it feel? Amazing. It feels fantastic. This is awesome. Love it. Marvellous. What the... Oh dear, it's happened again. Lewis, you do realize what's going to happen to those missiles, don't you? Right, let's call it a draw, shall we? Yeah. Whew. Nice race, man. <sighs> Got anything else we can test? <laughs> Are you seriously going to the premiere like that? What do you mean, mate? Oh, you look like you just stepped off the beach. You're not gonna shave? Shave? This is my look, man. This is how I roll. Do be serious, gentlemen. There are more important matters to attend to than your personal grooming. And from his victorious 1976 season, here we have James Hunt's original jockstrap. Pretty straightforward affair today, just running through a few safety features. Nothing hair-raising. You're not gonna join in, then? <laughs> Very amusing, Jensen, but safety is no laughing matter. Now, the first thing I want you to test are these new G forces. Thank you, Charlie. You'll notice that the pressurization should counteract the effect of the. Jensen, are you tweeting? Might be. Well, I suppose that demonstrates the suit's work, anyway. 
<laughs> May your beard slip. Oh, thanks, man. Do pay attention, chaps. Right, let's move on to the car. This year, we've brought in a number of safety innovations. We've started by improving the... Do be careful, Lewis. There are some significant alterations. <laughs> like what? Well, well, for example, the button that used to work the DRS now activates the... Injector seat. Perhaps I should have mentioned that before. Ah, I see you're testing the new automated fire extinguisher unit. That was wicked, man! Mate, I see you're rocking my beach look. And I see you finally decided to shave. Aren't you chaps due at a premiere soon? You can't go looking like that. Pit crew! Cool. Sick. 2.8 seconds. <laughs> Not bad, chaps. Morning, Professor. Ah, Jensen, Lewis. Four tenths of a second early. Excellent. So what are you showing us today? Today I'm going to show you the future of Formula One. What, robot drivers? I am Jensen Robot and <laughs> Lewis Hammerbot. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, chaps. But what I'm going to show you is top secret. On no account must it ever leave the building. And here we have... Just a few of the spare Ks from Mika Hakkinen's name. I'm about to show you the car for the Formula One season in 2020 and beyond. First, you'll need to put on these special helmets. They allow the driver to control the car by thought, as well as having an augmented reality display, providing a complete analysis of track conditions and a rundown of rival drivers. The car uses a revolutionary new lubricant that we've developed with our partners over at Mobile One. By spreading to a thickness of one micron, a single drop will last an entire season. Cool. Ah. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! Gentlemen, we haven't spent five years developing this so you can play skidsies. Ah, good. I see you're testing the inbuilt airbags. Now, the car is powered by a revolutionary new engine no bigger than a sugar cube. Wow, that's the engine. No, this is a sugar cube. Oh. The engine is here. Now, the car. Uh, it hasn't got any wheels, mate. It doesn't need any, Jensen. It floats. Now remember, Lewis, the car is thought controlled. So whatever you do, don't think about racing. What was that you said about nothing leaving the building? Good heavens, he's heading straight for Sweden. You better take over, Mike. I think I've just seen a flying bar of soap. Oh dear, there's only one thing for it. We're gonna have to fire up Vodafone McLaren Mercedes One. Jensen, do you think you can catch him? <laughs> 